Hi everyone, thank you for joining me and Max. I hope you're having a great day and I hope to make your day even better with this yoga practice that we can do together. We are gonna stretch and strengthen and tone the entire body. Plus we're gonna be doing some vinyasa, so we're gonna get our heart rate up and burning a lot of calories and also working on relaxation and burning off stress and anxiety. So roll at your mat and we'll get started. All right, so let's go into a child's pose and we're gonna go into one of my favorite warm-up stretches. We start off in a child's pose, we'll inhale and then we exhale, we pull forward going into a cobra or upward facing dog, whichever you find more comfortable. So inhale, exhale, drop the shoulders, open through the shoulders and chest. Good, down and a nice stretch, warming up the spine, stretching through the back. Good, now we'll just hold and extend good and now pull back into a child's pose and we'll prepare for downward facing dog so in cat position hands underneath the shoulders curl the toes underneath and moving into a downward facing dog and taking some nice deep breaths here tailbone reaching up shoulders relaxed away from the ears and now we'll walk the feet forward, going into ragdoll. So we bend the legs, place the belly on the thighs and hug the legs. Stretching through the back and now rolling right up, reach the arms right up. Exhale, relax the hands down. Now let's move into some sun salutations. We'll reach the arms right up in volcano pose. Exhale down, we go in a forward bend. And then hands to the shin, extended forward bend. Back is nice and long, even if that means you have to bend the legs. And we're gonna step back into a downward facing dog again. Good, inhale, exhale, moving into plank. And we'll go down in a chaturanga, up we go, upward facing dog or cobra. Just keep those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, down we go, inhale, downward facing dog again. Beautiful full body stretch, exhaling. Inhale, extended forward bend. And exhale, forward bend, good. Bend nice and deep. Arms reach right up, exhale, arms go down. Let's continue to float. We're gonna reach those arms right up, inhaling, exhaling down. We go to forward bend, moving into extended forward bend. And now with our next exhale, let's step the left foot back. We're gonna bend the right leg deeply, drop the left knee, reach those arms right up in a low lunge, inhaling, exhale, down we go back into a high lunge and now transitioning to extended side angle bend. Let's reach that left arm right by the ear, right forearm on the thigh, good. And now slowly transitioning to crescent lunge. We're gonna lift that left heel off the mat, drop the tailbone, arms reach back up again, shoulders pull down. Good, healthy breath in, exhale, down we go. We're gonna step back into plank, chaturanga, and then Bhujangasana Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, down we go. And with all of our core strength and upper body strength, downward dog again. Stepping forward, extended forward bend. Exhale, forward bend. Bend deep, bring all that healing, healthy energy into the body and release the arms down. So arms come back up again. Exhale, relieving all your stress. Inhale, healthy breath in. Exhale now, we're gonna step our right foot back, bending deeply in high lunge. Drop that right knee, inhale, stretch right up, open up those lungs, all that healthy oxygen flowing through the body. Exhale, down we go, moving back into high lunge. And now let's go into extended side angle, this time with our left leg bending, left forearm down and reach that right arm up. Full body stretch. Good, now when you're ready to exhale, we're gonna move into crescent lunge, drop the tailbone, shoulders away from the ears, arms reaching up, breathing in, breathing out into high lunge, and let's step back, chaturanga, and up we go in cobra, or upward facing dog, exhale. Now let's move into our downward facing dog, full body stretch. Good, stepping forward, extended forward bend, exhale out all your stress, forward bend. Utkatasana, stretching up in volcano pose and release down. All 
right, so now let's step the left foot back and we're gonna square the hips, arms come out and moving into triangle pose, trikonasana. So you want your ear, shoulder, hip and ankle in a straight line, opening up through the shoulders and the hips, getting long through the waist. When you're ready to exhale, we're gonna go down. And then when you're ready to inhale, we're gonna kick that left leg up. Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. So we'll leave the right leg bending, strengthening our thigh and extend the left leg out. Good, now let's release down into a forward bend we go. Bending the legs, stretch right up, exhale, release down. We're gonna stretch those arms up and now clasp the hands behind the back with our right leg, we're gonna bend. Standing crow, knee at a 90 degree angle to the body, arms reach up and let's extend that right leg out. Good. Keep the back long, strong center, breathe it through. Release down and then we're gonna go into airplane pose, arms reach up and down a little bit of a flow with our arms. If you have trouble balancing, you could always take that right foot down so there's a little bit of a bend in the left leg, staying in jet arms. Breathe it through, and then we're gonna reach those arms up, take the knee up, and finishing off in eagle pose. So the right leg is over the left leg, and we're gonna take the left arm over the right. Okay. Keeping the, the hands in front of the nose, bending deep, only if you're comfortable the foot lifts. If you have any pressure in the knee, keep that right foot down. Inhale, arms reach back up. Exhale, release down. Arms reach right up, standing cobra. Exhale, forward bend. We're flowing again, stretching up into extended forward bend. Keeping our abdominal muscles engaged, let's go into downward facing dog, but now moving into floating cat. So we bend the legs, knees just hovering over the mat. Let's do a flow. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, floating cat. Letting it flow, extending the legs and bending the legs, strengthening our core, our upper body. Good. Moving with our breath, inhaling and exhaling. So let's stay in a downward dog. Then we're going to move into plank, chaturanga. We're going to do a flow, upward facing dog or cobra. And now let's go into downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath. We're gonna step forward, extended forward bend. Exhale, forward bend. Bend deep, strong center through Utkatasana, stretching up to volcano pose. All right, so now let's step that right foot back. Arms extend. We're gonna move into triangle pose, stretch right up. That right arm is extending up to the ceiling, opening through the shoulders and chest, getting long through the waist. Breathing it through. And now slowly, we're gonna go down into warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. So the left leg is bending, now strengthening the left thigh. Right leg is extended. If you like a little more of a challenge, hands to the shin or to the thigh. Good, keeping your center strong. And now down we go in a forward fold. Let's bend really deep, arms stretch right up. And from here, let's clasp the hands behind the back. Now our left knee lifts up, 90 degree angle to the body. Strong center, opening through the lungs, through the chest. And now we're gonna extend that leg out. Arms reach by the ear, shoulders pull down, keeping the back long. Don't let that tailbone curl under. Keep your center strong. And now let's go into bird pose. So the right leg is bending, left leg extends, your hips are square. We're gonna add that flow with the arms. Arms reach up and down, full body toning. Arms and thighs and buttocks and abs will hold in jet arms. Good, breathing it through. Arms reach up, knee lifts up. And finishing it in eagle pose. So now we're going to take the left leg over the right leg and the right arm over the left. Bend nice and deep. Strong center. And squeezing the thighs, stretching through those shoulders. 
And now we're gonna extend the arms up, the knee comes up, inhaling and exhaling. Let's just release right down, forward bend. Take a nice deep breath. And now we'll go into downward facing dog. And then from here, let's lift that right leg up. We're gonna pull the right knee into the chest and then we're gonna get a little fancy. We're gonna go into eagle leg. So the right leg goes over the left leg and that left arm reaches right by the ear. Beautiful stretch to the side part of the body. Keep your core strong. Knee comes in, three-legged dog, and then take it down to downward dog. Take a breath. And then let's do the same thing with the left leg. Left knee comes in and left leg over right leg and now that right arm reaches up and over strong center strong core full body stretching and strengthening pull the knee in and leg comes up let's go downward dog take a breath from here we'll move into plank and then chaturanga Let's go into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog if you like, and we'll take the chin up and chin down. Making sure the chin goes right down to the chest, stimulating our thyroid. And then we're gonna go down and let's grab hold of the feet. Going into Bow Pose, Dharanasana, and open up through the shoulders and chest. Open up those lungs. Deep cleansing breaths. Good, exhale, release down. And now let's take a well-deserved rest in child's pose, Balasana. A wonderful nourishing pose, relaxing the body, relaxing the mind. If you like arms down at your sides, it's a good time to check in on the breath. Easy, smooth breath. And now slowly coming up and we'll meet in cobbler's pose. Vata Konasana, feet together. Knees apart, and let's sit up nice and tall. So let's get the hands on the knees, fingers to the thumb. Relax the shoulders, if you like closing the eyes, and focus in on the breath. And now we'll reach that left arm up, so just mirroring me, and extend the right arm up. Good, release down. And we're gonna open up those legs, flexing the feet. Upavishta Konasana, seated wide leg bend, and stretching forward. Bending from the hips, relax the thighs, relax the back, the smooth breath. Inhaling new energy, fresh breath into the body. All that healing and healthy oxygen will come up, reach the arms up, shoulders pull down. And arms release down to your sides. And now from here, let's grab hold of the feet and we're gonna extend the legs to what you're able to without letting go of the feet. So don't worry if you can't fully extend the legs. Again, long back, bending forward from the hips, reaching those arms right up and let's release right down. Arms reach by the ears, then pull the knees into the chest, grab hold of the knees if you like a gentle rock, and now happy baby pose. Grabbing hold of the feet, gently pulling the knees down towards the mat, opening through the hips and the pelvis. You wanna get your back long as well, tailbone down, and crossing the legs, recline shoelace pose. We'll switch the crossover, opposite hand to the foot. And now arms out, easy twist, dropping the knees to one side, looking the other direction the knees are facing. A nice squeeze through the belly, bring out any toxins to the abdominal organs. Knees come up and then we're gonna twist to the other side. It's a really soothing pose as well, helps to relieve stress and anxiety, soothing our nervous system. Knees come up. And now feet together, knees apart, recline cobbler's pose. You can have the arms at your sides, on the belly, or arms by your ears, whatever feels nice for you. Just completely relax and let go, feeling light as a feather, all that healing and healthy energy flooding the body, flooding the mind. 
With every exhale, getting rid of anything that no longer serves you, any stress, any worry, feeling lighter and healthier and happier. So that positive energy floods the body and the mind, feeling yourself completely relaxing and letting go. Just observing the natural rise and fall of your belly with your breath. And now we'll slowly pull the knees into the chest, slowly coming up into a seated position. Crossing our legs, we'll take the palms together inhaling and exhaling two more times and our last time and we'll sigh out <sighs> thank you so much for joining me and max namaste i hope you enjoyed that i hope you stay healthy and safe and i hope to see you again soon take care